Researchers hope to one day overcome the problem of organ shortages for transplantation by growing spare human organs in other animals. A group led by scientists at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies has taken the first big step toward making this a reality. On January 26, 2017, they announced having grown the first human pig chimera embryos. The team led by Juan Carlos Ispijua Belmonte, began by creating rat mouse chimeras in 2010. The group then tried making rat pig chimeras, but this didn't work as the species were too different. The researchers then moved on to combine human stem cells with cow and pig embryos which were chosen because of the relatively similar organ size among the species. Although their attempts to create a human cow chimera embryo were successful, the researchers decided to use pigs in follow-up experiments because the pigs were easier and cheaper to use than their bovine counterparts. After implanting the resulting embryos back into pigs and letting them develop for three to four weeks, the researchers found that intermediate stem cells, which are slightly more developed than naive stem cells, led to better integration. But even with the intermediate cells, the number of human cells that were ultimately incorporated into the pig embryo was not very high, and many of the chimeric embryos were underdeveloped. According to the researchers, there are several reasons why the human pig experiments did not work as well as the mouse rat ones. For one, mice and rats are much more related to one another than our pigs and humans, and the rodents have much more similar gestation periods. Mice and rats differ by a few days, while pigs and humans are off by more than five months. While the ultimate goal of producing organs for transplantation still seems to be in the distant future, researchers are pursuing a number of other strategies to make pigs into human organ donors, such as disabling pig proteins that could cause an immune response in primates. The advantage of chimeras, Belmonte says, is that researchers could one day use a patient's own cells to create a pig chimera with a human organ that has been grown for that individual. While the National Institute of Health has banned public funding for these experiments due to ethical concerns, no federal law restricts the creation of chimeras in the United States and biologists including those at the University of California are pushing forward. Just in this past year, three groups of researchers have created over 20 pregnancies of pig, human or sheep human chimeras. Scientists will have to improve human stem cells colonization of their animal hosts. The Salk team's next hurdle is trying to embed one human cell in 1,000 or even 100 pig cells. That's when we can start thinking about practical applications, says Wu. But that's also when ethical questions start to become more urgent. He then asks, how many cells do you need for a chimera to be considered more human than pig? Does it matter what kind of cells, what kind of tissues? Let us know what you think in the comments below. As always thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please like, comment and subscribe.